right, guys, Kale here with Team Good Ghosting, just starting the recording for the day on the Matic March Raffle Pool, I'm joined by Charles here. We're opening a little bit early. I know people will start trickling in here pretty fast, but we'll give everyone a moment to get in and settle on the hour officially. But Charles, thank you very much for being here with us today. Absolutely, absolutely, Kale. Thank you for having me. Um, hi, everybody. Um, you know, welcome and um, thank you for being here. Happy Easter for those of you that celebrate Easter. Happy holidays to everyone. Thank you. <clears throat> Beautiful. All right. I still got to get the YouTube account set up later. So I'll upload this video later for everybody to be able to review if you are uh, involved in a lot of Easter festivities. Charles is just telling me half of his entire community that he knows is already AWOL, all enjoying themselves. Absolutely. They, in Africa, they, they go hard, you know. <laughs> A lot of uh, you know, they, you know, for for good reasons, you know, um, they work hard over there and they play hard too. Um, Easter is a big, uh, it's a big celebration, especially you know, most of the Christian uh, people, people of Christian faith, celebrate Easter, you know, and you know, so yeah, they, they it's it's a it's a week long festivities, um, you know, occasions, parties, and and things of that nature, and and some cultures of masquerades and things of that nature, dancing around. So yeah, it's it's fun. Um, I miss it myself, you know, being here in the United States. Mm. Yeah, I gotcha. every now and then, if I get the opportunity to travel back, I do just kind of soak soak some of it in and take the kids also to, to appreciate the culture, and the essence of. Uh, how how many kids do you have? I have two kids. I have a five year old boy and a two year old girl. Uh, she's spoiled anyway. So <laughs> that's that isn't that the whole point, right? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's amazing watching them go and you know ransack the house and yeah so so charles then that means you were you born in nigeria then when did you come yes, across absolutely yeah i was born there um and i came here for i came here for college funny enough um you know i i came here for college and i just uh went to temple university in philly and uh, you know i graduated started working you know kind of settled down in the philly i used to be in new jersey originally but I got, you know, finished um, university in Temple, just kind of kind of hung around the Philly area, just fell in love with Philly, you know, just started a family out here. So I've been here since then. But I travel back home to Nigeria every now and then as well, just to kind of keep in touch with the roots and, and family. Sure. Yeah. And I, are you overdue? When's the last time you've been back? Uh, 2019. And I plan You're overdue. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the COVID played a big factor, though. That's fair. It froze everybody in place, didn't it? For a time period, but now that things are opening back up, I plan on going back again. You know, this year sometime. Well, fantastic. Well, most of these guys in here that are trickling in, you know, people are here today because they've already won their savings pool. And so not a big need for us to kind of present what we do here at Good Ghosting. But if you found yourself in here with us and, and you're unfamiliar, we host DeFi Social Savings Game. We're currently live and operating on Polygon and on the CeeLo Network. Uh, Charles is a unique opportunity for us because we don't typically get to uh, partner up with uh, NFT projects that are based on the Ethereum mainnet right now. And so this is um, high end enough and prestigious enough. We were impressed enough with the work and, and, and happy to make the partnership. And he's been very generous with this particular pool. And so this will be kind of a one off for our players here is that this is, I think, probably the first time that we'll ever offer NFT prizes that are issued on the Ethereum mainnet. Nice, nice. Yeah. I feel very special now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I Charles about the masked culture is the name of this collection that we're looking yeah. at here today. Absolutely. When did this drop? Uh, it was in my, I believe this was in uh, December of twenty, early December of twenty twenty one. Um, hopefully maybe end of November, but uh, I know it was around November December of twenty twenty one. Sorry, I don't have the exact date, but yeah, twenty twenty one was, was the drop. Um, um, end of December, early end of November, early December twenty twenty. Roger that. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen too here and see if that pulls up. Does that look okay there? It's coming up. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yep. And so here's that mass culture landing page here on OpenSea. And you guys have done a really great job with the presentation of it. And so this is just kind of a hidden gem right now, isn't it? This is kind of yes. hiding in plain sight. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so. Yeah. So uh, this, this actual drop up, this is actually a historic piece. And I'm going to speak on it, you know, um, I'll tell you why is a historic piece, because we, um, oh, it's actually written there, we we collaborated with, um, you know, Chuma, of course, the artist who's, who's going to join us soon, 
we collaborated with um, our 15 ports. Um, you know, we gave them the artwork after Truma made it. We gave them the artwork and said, hey guys, you know, do an inspiration, draw inspiration from the artwork and, and, and create a poem on it. And they got really creative, you know, they, they didn't feel boxed in. And all 15 of them, we, 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 we made the history because we, in, we onboarded, first of all, they didn't know what the heck NFT were <laughs> prior to this project. So that's why I, I, it, it, it sits, this project sits in a very special place in my heart because, um, you know, I'm gonna go into details as to the community, but we, we, we onboarded 15 of them. We told them about NFTs and we gave them these pieces and say, hey, speak to this, see, see what inspiration you draw from it and create a poem out of it. And they got really creative. And, and that's mm -hmm. how come, and we thought about it. We're like, okay, now that we have audio to it, we need to add some visual to it. We spoke, we went to a community as well. We tapped on an animator that kind of brought it to life when they were speaking, when the, art, poem, the poets were speaking to the art. And it's so, the 15 of them were minted on a blockchain on the same day. So that's the historical piece of it. Because the, 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 the 15 poets didn't know about NFTs prior to this. So this project introduced them to NFTs. And some of them have gone around doing greater projects and doing great things in the community. And that, that's why I'm really proud of this project because not just um, the, the beautiful artwork and how it all came together, um, you know, art, um, poetry and, and, and some animation, but more of like you know the historical context of it, and if you if you listen to some of them and the wordings that that you know the, the poets did on them, they're really powerful stuff. Some of them I play over and over again in my office on Monday just to kind of give you know being in the western part of the country of, of part of the world for a while, this kind of brings me back to okay that this is where I'm from. You know they, they're saying things that I can resonate with, and and you know just watching the animation come into play. As, as the, the powerful poems and our rendition in the background. It's just, uh, I mean, I thought it was amazing, but I mean, and, and you know, some of these poets really, really fell in love with the project and they went, they, 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 they it, it, it became something special to them and, you know, an introduction to the NFT space. And it, it's, it's a great project. I mean, I can, you know, I, Chuma, can speak to each and every one of them in, in terms of what the um, the mask that you're looking at numbers. Um, the blind faith is really powerful. I don't know the guy that did the project. That's one of my Paul, favorites. Paul Wood. Oh man, you know the wordings are awesome, man. You know. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so let's see. Let's see if this will actually show here at all, real quick. We sure. give people time an example of what we're talking about here. Sure. No, are we getting the audio? No, no audio, but I see the video. Okay. Well, my, my computer's complaining. It's telling me right now that it's a little bit strained for resources. So I think it's ditching the audio for us currently, but this will at least demonstrate that visual representation here. And mm -hmm. so for, for everybody else, you'll have to take a moment and just check out this collection on OpenSea directly, but there, the audio component is at least 50% of the entire weight of the project. It's, it's right. substantially powerful here. And so what you can actually do too, is you'll notice in the description of the, each piece, They'll have the poem also embedded as the metadata. Absolutely, so absolutely. Yep, 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 yep. Clean, clean creation on the NFTs, well produced. Every single piece is unique. Nothing looks the same. Absolutely. I've, 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 I've had a good time so far this morning, just kind of checking out piece after piece and listening <laughs> to the work. Because even the poets, like you're mentioning, 15 different artists, it's extremely diverse. You don't get absolutely. the same, the same mm -hmm. kind of piece. It's every yeah. one of these comes through. Yes, and and, and, Carol, and also there, there's some of them there uh, were spoken in, in French. Uh, there's a, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a poet. Um, she's really creative. She, she switches. She could go from French to English and different languages. It's just. Um, I mean, it, it's it's an awesome work. And just to mention, also, this was minted on our own smart contract. It wasn't on an open C contract. So we have our own um, developer, you know, minted on our own smart contract. So it's something that. At that point in the last year, people it wasn't very popular. I know we have manifolds and all these other folks now, but at that point, you know, means doing creating your own work on your own smartphone wasn't very you know popular. Just select few were doing it, but we 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 were one of the first people. Oh from, yeah, yeah, from our community to actually 
did the drug did the drop on their own country so, on their own it's, it, it's extremely difficult isn't it it's not just a walk in the park that's a whole no, other it, it industry wasn't. yeah i know it wasn't it wasn't but now i think there's other options for people to go but it, it was just that and and also another part of the project is that people you know I'm, I'm in the united states and some of the um other participants were they're all in africa different parts of africa so just coordinating everybody you know having all those wallet addresses and all this stuff is just that uh, you know it, it wasn't easy but it was you know we learned a lot from it and you know and all of us now belong to a bigger community um nigeria nft community which i'm, I'm, I'm a founder of and it's a big community now and this project was born out of it, you know, it came out of the community members coming together Then we were fewer then, but it came out of that, that community, the, the developers, were, we, we, we were searching for developers, we were like, hey, does anybody know how to do smart contract? And someone said, hey, I could do it, and we gave them a chance. Poets all came from that Nigeria NFT community, which is, you know, over a couple thousand members now, but yeah. One, you know, here looking at that Twitter account here, you're at that 14K plus, and so your yeah. community is growing quite a bit. There's a lot of attention on you guys as a team. It's just that it seems that they haven't made the connection that Team yeah. Jungle Colors got the mass culture already out there and available, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and this is Jungle Colors, just a, it's a private, um, it's my private uh, account, but mm -hmm. the NFT community, it's a different um, entity altogether, and that's where the community members came from. But yeah, I mean, I, I just, I don't think we marketed it very well. It, it, it was one of those projects that we we felt the need to put out in 2021. But, you know, but now if we have done it in 2020, we would have done like a different, marketed it very well and strategic about it. But we we just felt like people were resonant with it. And, you know, some people came, came back to us and said, we love the piece, we would like to get it. But we felt like it was, it was priced a little bit higher than what. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was a that was some of the feedback we got. But we we thought we thought it was um it was price okay in terms of you know just kind of factoring everybody on the project and because everybody's on a smart contract, everybody gets a a piece of it you know perpetuity and all that stuff. Um, so it's not like um you know it's just for the artist or it's just you know the artist. The it's poet. a it's a tough thing, isn't it? Trying to find the parameters for an NFT project before you release. It's a it's a tricky thing to, to yeah. perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I don't think anybody has a you know a, you know a blueprint oh. for pricing. No, nobody does. <laughs> Most I, I tell you what, I've never seen an NFT project drop and increase their pricing. I can tell you that much. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you know, we've seen drops and decrease though. Exactly. And I've seen quite a few have to decrease. And, and you know, based, based on that Ethereum, it's a hit and miss in terms of the gas prices. You know, gas prices dictate a lot of the activity that happens there. And I know that the last time that we spoke was last December when you guys were still getting fresh with this project. But mm -hmm. has there has there been any kind of development or consideration with expansion to other chains or uh, the next project or what's on y'all's mind? Uh, man, I mean, there's a lot going on in terms mm -hmm. of the project, but for, for this particular um, mask project we are trying to um transition them over to um a metaverse environment so that's mm -hmm. that's, what we're, that's, what, that's what we're working on well i mean the, the the conversation about a different chain it's still up in the air but we're trying to carry this over to um to a metaverse where you know i, I can use this nft possibly is it equipable in decentraland or something like that yeah yeah yeah. Perfect, because that's exactly what I saw this morning. Looking through it, they're great pieces, but I want the opportunity to represent it as a, as a, you know, a digital physical. Right, 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 right. So that's 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 the plan. That's what we're working on. There's a couple, um, you know, things that we're building. We're not talking revealing yet, but the, the idea is to kind of, you know, make this into a bigger um, universe, bigger ecosystem, and. Where people can now wear this and then identify with it and build around it, build the culture around it. So it's it's it. the kind of piece that you know, upon acquisition, it's the kind of thing I want to share with others. It's the it's a, it's it's the work piece, and so it's not. Yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's just, not it's, something it's, you just live in your wallet, like you know. Exactly. You, you want to share you you know because because you know there, there's a lot to it in terms of the, the spoken words and all that stuff. People need to hear it, quote unquote. Yeah. You know? It's not something that just sits on your wallet, you know. So yeah, I, I get it. 
I get it. <laughs> One thing I, I, I will say too, so you've been so generous to give us four of these units to be able to share here with our uh, DeFi savers. So congratulations uh, for anyone mm -hmm. that finished the Matic March pool because you're in a really great spot. Uh, two of those are gonna go to winners that had a score, a good ghosting score of 5,000 or higher. One of them is gonna go to somebody that had a 20,000 score or higher. Those are the veteran long-term savers. And then right now it's looking like really good odds because there's about 13 or 14 of you guys live on the call. And that last single piece is only gonna go to somebody that's here on this call. And so I have the list of the registrations for today's call. And so I'll draw against it, but you will have to raise your hand and say hello when I call your name. And that'll be a live claim for that one as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit up our 20K here, because it's get us going here, and then we'll hop into some other things. But this is amongst all the winners that completed the Matic March pool that had a good ghosting score over 20,000, which is still 154 players. And so we've got a lot of people that are enjoying the DeFi savings over here, growing every day. It's a real pleasure to be able to work with projects like you. It just adds the, the icing on the cake, because it's already a good idea to save your own money and and uh, just use DeFi to your advantage. And so now it's another opportunity when you get a bonus on top of that. So let's see who this one's gonna be here today. All of these prizes are gonna be sent out after the fact. These are not gonna be distributed today. Charles, I think you're mentioning maybe a three to five day window. We just gotta get with the tech team and just see when they're available for that. Yeah. Okay, I'll grab this one right here. So 55D0, if you're here today, then you're at least lucky enough to get that 20K one. And pop this right here so I don't lose my mind. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Charles, I will say the more since since you and I have last spoke, I have done so much exploration on the CeeLo ecosystem that I can't not mention that to you. I know no, you're probably I on am, your radar. No, I, I know I know about them. I know yeah. about them. They, Good stuff. I, I have them in mind and I'm gonna start reaching out when the time is right because mm -hmm. what I'm building fits into them. Definitely no I, I'm a polygon, you know, hardcore guy. And that's what we were talking about last time. And I love what they do over there. And I just continue to be impressed with what I see at CeeLo. They, they really are committed to that D5 for all. And, and they're I'm committed. Bad, yeah. I have never met, this is the truth, right? A, a, a true testimony Hill. I have never uh, interacted with such an international community. I've been here. exposed to on CeeLo. Very interesting, exciting to work with those people. Well, let's restart there. How's that? Okay, better, better, yeah. yeah. A little bit better. Yeah, better I'm getting my better. internet warning. Too many tabs open this poor surface. <laughs> but the CeeLo yeah. yeah. ecosystem is just one of the most international communities that I've encountered in DeFi so far. Yeah. I love what they're doing with um with the unbanked you know Africa and all the, the the yeah so I have them in mind I've been on some of their calls with um you know they I think they were in um, you know, New York um, NFC anyway but mm -hmm. I've been on a couple of their calls and um, I really like what they're doing and I've been following them on social media but, good good yeah well, by all means we're happy to sing your heralds that direction too they just had their CeeLo connect which was the first conference for their ecosystem and that was in barcelona here at the first okay. of the month and uh i mean everyone that came out of there seems to have been transformed in their brains they they <laughs> they already believed it but now they know it right 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 all righty so let's go ahead and knock out our two 5kers here and then we'll move on to the most exciting part, which is going to be the bingo winner, essentially. So one gets to throw their hand up in the air. So, let's, so we got two units to give away to the winners that had a score over 5,000 or more. So the first one of those is going to go here to this guy. I think it's this confetti animation right here. It takes a huge toll. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks good. We throw this guy here. And as we mentioned, this will be about a three to five day after the fact. Charles is a buddy, so I'll be in touch and he'll let us know as we're moving through that and it's no rush. Okay. And then we'll grab one more here. Oh, there's the doggy starting to wonder. I think people yeah. are getting home. We'll see. Yeah, I may have a, I may have a pause as I throw her out in the hallway. <laughs> Oh, no, you, you, you said she was going to be barking soon, right? <laughs> yeah, she's on guard dog duty, so she's doing her work. Okay, let's throw this here. Bingo. So there's our three that are dedicated to the winners themselves. 
And then let me hop back over here and let's see what we got in the chat. Just make sure I'm not missing anybody here. Plan to share something we'll see it on Twitter. Yeah, absolutely, Seb. We will share it on Twitter. I'll, I'll put the Google Sheet out as well for the winner's list. So you'll be able to check the addresses against yourself and just make sure if you're on there or not. Uh, let's see. Oh, Cedric, I'm sorry. I know you're still a little bit below that 5,000 good ghosting <laughs> mark. There's only one way to solve that problem though, right? And so just Here's keep more. stacking, keep <laughs> stacking it up and you'll get in the club. The good news said is you are uh, in the opportunity for this next drawing right here. And so I feel like I've been dragging my feet a little bit enough to let the, the latecomers trickle in here. You know, mm -hmm. first the odds are decreasing slightly for everybody, but they're still really good looking here. Let's see what we got here on this participant list. Cool. Okay. So yeah, this is an easy pool. I'm happy with everybody that I see in here. Let's have some fun, guys. This is the most enjoyable part of my job, right? I get I get the opportunity to meet interesting projects, catch good alpha, hang out with my group. We all saving money, stacking it for the rainy day or when that when that ugly dip happens, right? These stable coin pools are, are little gifts. Don't think that no. these are these are boring or lame. These are great opportunities, and it is a responsible DeFi user that recognizes the value of a of a stable coin savings. Okay, so let's see here. I had about thirty eight registrants on the call, and so that's the full list that's on here. But that's not everybody that's in here. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to draw, and then the name will come up. And then if you are on this call right now, give me something here in this chat box, and then we're going to know if that's you and you're in here. If I don't hear something in probably about that minute, I'm going to re-roll. And actually, I'll just check the participant list because I know who's in here right now. So if the name comes up, I'll cross-reference it. And we'll get rid of that there. Okay, guys, let's see. This one it only happens once. I'm sure it's going to go right immediately, and someone will be here. It's probably Radish. I'm feeling an Island Radish kind of day. He was my last sign up. Okay. Let's fucking go. Seb is. Oh, Seb, I got you. False hope there, I think. Okay. Sorry, Seb. You were the, the last tick. Let's see if Chow's on the call here, real quick, with us. I do not see Jiao present on the call. So that's gonna, well, let's just make sure that maybe there's a different name. Perfect, cool. Nope, I don't see a Jiao, so that'll get removed off of here. And we're gonna re-roll. Seb, you still got a chance, my friend. <laughs> that's right in between. All right, guys, is there a Martin here with us today? I'm checking the list. Martin, you got just a second to speak up because I don't see a Martin on the list. And I'm going to assume naturally that this is a no go on that one as well. I only got Buck and Mobius here on the M column. No, <laughs> thank you. Remove. Nothing, you know, this is the beauty. Here we go again. A little bit of ghosting action, right? Nothing like here signing up for an event that you don't show up to. And so <laughs> we'll let someone else take that prize. <laughs> I think we've got us a winner because this guy's at every single event we ever hold. I literally can't get him away from us. March <laughs> is one of our community superheroes and someone that's been a part of the, the, the good ghosting operation for a very long time. And let's see here. See, I, I'm almost positive that he's here with us today. Yep, right there on the call, we're good to go. I'm actually even gonna give him an opportunity to say woohoo if he uh, has, the, <laughs> has the inclination to do so, because I know he's on call. So Kvarch. Hi, yeah, it's Kvarch actually. Kvarch, man, that has been like a, 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 a multi-month struggle on my part. That's the first time I've ever heard that said out loud. <laughs> well, congratulations, friend. You're the winner of a really seriously substantial <laughs> NFT. These are This is a good project by, by Charles here wow, with this Max Culture. Thanks. It's cool. Yeah. Thank you yeah, for the congratulations, see. man. Who says that dedicated DeFi doesn't pay off, right? <laughs> All right. Perfect. That is going to do it for the actual drawing itself. So at least we don't have to worry about that anymore. So we can hop back on over here real quick. And I let me just shrink this just a touch as well, because I'd want to also share one other thing that I had pulled up for you guys here. So let's talk a little bit about just your project here too with Jungle Color, because obviously you're, you're tied in to Mast Culture, but it's not a direct one-off. And so what are you, what is your next steps for Jungle Color? What can we expect and what are we looking for? Sure. Um, we are, you know, we are um, building a digital app um, 
So we're trying to make some of this work um, interact. It's a mobile app that we're trying to make some of this work, uh, African Afrocentric artwork um, interactive. We're trying to gamify the artwork that you're seeing. Yes. And, uh, you know, and gamifying it, meaning, um, you know, you could uh, interact with them on your app. It's, it's, it's like, a, it's a web to, it's a web to um, activity, but, you know, that would now transition you into a web three, you know, now you can now use your, your artworks as a pass, a passport into the metaverse play. So, we're seeing this kind of become the model, right? Is is access yeah. and, and yeah. exclusivity? Yeah. So, so 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 if you're not if you're not um web three ready yet, you could interact with it on the app. You just appreciate the artwork. Um, and gotcha. Also, yeah. So when you're web three ready and you want to explore, then we'll walk from you into the metaverse. Um, this makes perfect good sense so that way you can kind of hit both of those communities at once yeah. and, and, and 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 some of the people some of the people that would appreciate some of our that would appreciate our afrocentric work and the essence and all that we, we're trying to use this in the future it's a long-term plan Carl, to kind of um introduce them into the web3 space so yeah yeah so so some of them might be a little older they appreciate the afrocentric artwork they like the mass they like the culture they like the essence but they don't necessarily know what the heck you're talking about when you're talking about web three or the metaverse sure. so through the app we're going to be you know introducing them to hey say hey this is someone you could use this your artwork over here and interact with people you could use this just come and um explore just have a pass to do to you don't necessarily have to you know, um, be a web three aspect, but when you come to the sure. metaverse, you can get some more immersive experiences. It's you gonna, you guys, technological demand, right? If you could skip the need for somebody to have to just give them a platform to just interact with as a social kind of experience, mm -hmm. you're in business. Yeah. So mm. no, no more, pressure, no rush. What kind of what kind of expected timeline you think? Uh, um, Tough, isn't it? Everything in Web three is takes ten times longer than you imagine, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're thinking about you know a, a couple years, a couple years. Yeah, and that's fair. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's it, you know, and that scaling technologies are a big consideration probably as well. And and the metaverses themselves are still being built as we speak. Yeah, there's so, a lot of yeah, there's a lot of moving pieces, but we it's a long term plan. It's not an easy project. It needs funding, and that's what we're kind of doing now, trying to kind of you know raise some funds. But what we're doing is we're trying to connect Web two and Web three, but we focus on Afrocentric um, essence and heritage. I, I am going to give you one strong referral here. Again, back to the CELO network is there's a really uh, good team over there at RE Swap, RE Coin. And I was just chatting with him last night. Alex is the lead over there. And, and he had just he's just made a partnership with the African Blockchain University. And that was something that they were mentioning. And I just hadn't heard it. And it was the only other time I've seen a similar kind of a vibe. And so okay. I mentioned that we were here today. And so he, he is very curious about hearing more and wanted me to pass along some information. And so you do have some, mm -hmm. some okay. developing interest and some developing um, circumstance, I think. I think CeeLo is going to be, I don't know, it's just me, fingers crossed, you know, we'll see. None of it's in no, FA. I, I, I know. But I like it. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trying to um, get some things in line. Before I reach out to them and say, "Hey," it makes hey. sense, right? If you, yeah. if you, well, and if you call, if you reach out that hand, and then you get grabbed by by a big boy, and you're not ready, it can be painful. Sometimes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, so um, there, there's this um, that um, there's a virtual African space that will be a transition of the app to the. Um, it, it's 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 clever enough, but um, it's it's the metaverse, M E T A V A S. So. Ha. <laughs> I need that one. I was gonna get it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I like. I like clever. I like clever. I like punny. I, that's what I'm here for, right? If it's not fun, why are we doing it? It's, exactly. It's, not, so, it's supposed to be so, better banking. Yeah. So it, it, it's clever. So people, but um, yeah, the virtual. It's the vast. The vast. That's virtual Afro space. Yeah. You know. So 
people are like, oh, why are you using that? I'm like, it's actually, actually it actually has a meaning, there's an essence to it. It's just that it rhymes. It rhymes. So you could go the way, you could check it out. We're still we're still building it. You know, you could go to metaverse.io um, now. You see what we're what we're what we started, but um we're just wrapping up a white paper and all that. So Perfect. it's gonna be a transition of um the app to that. So we're gonna be making, you know making that transition with, with some of the people that I, I appreciate the, the essence of what we're doing. And Scylla is in the back of my mind. I just need to, you know, cross a couple of T's and dot a couple of I's. It's much but, easier to do everything right once than have to do it all over again three different times. Before I reach out to them, but they are, they are, they are, they, we have, they're on our radar. I'll put it that way. Charles, I appreciate your time today. I appreciate your generosity with these NFTs for these good ghosting savers. This is special for them. And these are, these are, these are unique items. These are significant items. And so you've been shockingly generous. You know, that collection right now is showing at seven owners and we just added another four to that today. And so that's a, it's a pretty, pretty large increase in the volume holders there. So you four should feel quite lucky there. Uh, not, not a bad payoff for just saving a little bit of your own money that you get back at the end anyway. Right. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm a very good, um, I have a very good friend. I'm, I'm very good friends with some of the leadership team uh, at Good Ghost. And Francis, is, Francis, Francis is a good friend mm -hmm. of mine, and um, you know we've we've had a lot of working relationship and you know some projects that he has helped us um, get in the past. So I, I I appreciate that. You know I'm you know I appreciate everything you guys are doing. I'm definitely going to sign up um, very soon. You know, I fantastic. Well, there's you got to be careful, right? I'm I have gone off the deep end now to the point where when our our some of our days hit where there's deposits due in multiple pools and it's like pulling teeth. It's, I know. A, it's a painful feeling sometimes. You know, you just got to keep telling yourself it's your own money and you're paying yourself. It's not acting, you're not spending anything. You're just yeah. setting aside your own money and it's still difficult. And so, I, you know, we, we try to make it as easy as possible for everybody, but it is still a useful model. Charles, I'm very excited to watch where you guys move forward. Uh, Chuma is the artist for this project. We were hoping to get him in here, but as you were mentioning, He's got a lot of festivities happening. I'm sure he's he's enjoying Easter right now in Nigeria proper. He's eating some something spicy somewhere and drinking palm wine somewhere. A man can dream, can't he? <laughs> so, by all means, we'll point all the directions to you guys. Um, we have the channel, a dedicated channel in our Good Ghosting Discord server that's dedicated for your project and for your team. And so by all means, anytime you guys have developments or any kind of alpha you want to share, you just want to say hello, you're, you know, my home is your home and please feel welcome to come in and just stay in touch with us and keep us up to date with as you guys are developing towards yeah. this 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 ambitious project with a lot of moving pieces. Um, yeah, ambitious indeed, indeed. <laughs> mm. Well, fantastic. Guys, I appreciate all the savers that were here with us today. Uh, I, I know that we at least had the one solid winner and the other three prizes as well will go out to savers that were hopefully with us today. But if not, it's okay. We're a, it's the 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 challenge of Web3 is a global community proper. And so, you know, 50% of our users are likely passed out in their bed right now. And so it's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. But I will get this uploaded to YouTube after the fact. We'll do some circulation, make sure that everybody are aware of this fantastic project with mass culture, because I can't believe that it's just sitting there so quiet or right in the open. No, right? <laughs> Yes, we will get this thing out there and people will recognize that uh, blind faith gave me chills. Nietzsche gave me chills. Uru is scary. There's some good works there. So good stuff, Charles. I appreciate y'all's hard work. And thank you again for being a partner with the Good Ghosting Savings Pool. Congratulations to all of our dedicated DeFi savers. Thank y'all for being here. We do have just a touch of an update here. Tuesday, this coming Tuesday is going to be the close of the Fly Wallet savings pool that's still open on Celo right now. We'll also be kicking off the Open DAO savings pool that's going to be hosted on Polygon in partnership with the Open DAO NFT marketplace. Possibly, Charles, is a thing to consider. Open DAO is a is a if you've seen with the SOS token, they're a really substantial project currently on Ethereum migrating to Polygon. So there's already an opportunity to at least get your project listed there if you haven't even seen their their platform. They're growing fast. Open DAO is a neat project as well. And we got great friends over there. And then Thursday, we will be kicking off our ETH Amsterdam savings pool. 
That'll also be held on the Polygon mainnet, but that'll be in honor of the ETH Amsterdam event kicking off on 421. <laughs> just a little ironic. Just, just yeah. a quick question. Um, sure. Are you doing anything in um, NFT NYC this year? You know, if we do, it might. Uh, honestly, Francis is, is in New York, and so he'd be the closest piece there. I, I don't see uh, the team planning right now to fly over that are not in the state bound. I would love to go, and I might. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting to a position now where I can start hitting more of those things. I'm looking at West Coast events right now more often, the uh, East San Francisco and those types of things. I need Vegas to have more events. Vegas is close <laughs> to home, and I'd love the opportunity to check in on that. But we will see an, an update on NFT NYC. I'd love the opportunity, and I, I uh, hope. Do you have yeah. any ambition to be there? No, I've been, I'll be speaking. I've been oh, speaking. fantastic. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be speaking on um, this. Is, so I'll definitely be linking up with, um, with Francis. Well, fantastic. Okay. Well, let me just check the chat here. Make sure everyone's just having good vibes. Everyone's just, I mean, there should be big events like those in Asia. That's a great point, Senka. There's not quite like a, there's there's probably not like a, a, a big ETH, ETH circuit, ETH event circuit in the Asian market, it seems yet. You mm -hmm. guys, y'all are the unsung heroes, I will say. You know, even here at Good Ghosting, and I've been talking to a couple of the guys here at our server, is just making these international community bridges is, is paramount and key. It's difficult, and that's why most people don't do it. And there's a, a, a hard level of ignorance that everyone just assumes that this is all interpretable, but there have to be bridges built for us all to be together. Okay. Okay, uh, Tulasi, I think I'll do it, man. I think I'll do it. This is a small enough call here. I think I can indeed produce a badge for today's attendance on this call. So I think I'll at least have a small bonus prize for everybody that was here today. So congratulations to those of y'all that did indeed win the, the mass culture NFTs, but I will put out a participation badge as well based off of the list. Let me uh, do a screenshot real quick of who's here. So that way it makes it easier on me too. One moment, and I think we're just about at a wrap up point. Charles, these, you know, I always get casual at the ends of these kind of things. I'm a bad call ender, right? Because I can just go back and forth and just keep enjoying sharing and hanging out with people. So, okay, cool. I got the screenshot. Looks like we're happy in the chat. No standing QA. If anyone's got anything, I think we're okay there. Charles, you got the floor. If you've got any last pieces or any kind of words of wisdom for us, or just kind of parting touches for this nice Easter weekend. No, I just want to. I just want to thank you guys. A good ghosting. Um, I, I think you know I'm, I'm part of the family now, and um, you know I'm going to continue to be always part of it. I just want to thank everybody for being here, making out time. Um, the mass culture uh, NFT. It's, it's a really special project. It's historical in its sense. Um, you know we there's a lot of value to we put a lot of sweat time and effort in it and, and we hope um you know you know you guys will appreciate some of the culture some of the essence that you know and what some of the things that it stands for us uh, represents for for me um being from nigeria west africa so i really want to thank you guys for checking it out at least you know share it or tweet it or talk about it and and um you know thanks for being here happy holidays and for the winners congratulations um you know, I look forward to vibing with um, some of you a bit more um, as the time goes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Art, art from the heart will survive. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to kill this screen share. This will be up on YouTube later. Share it with your friends and let them know that they missed out on a great opportunity. I'll yep, get these yep, badge yep. design done and we'll get some treats <laughs> out for everybody. You guys that won, we'll see your NFTs soon. Happy Easter, everybody. Please be safe. Hug someone you love and get some sunshine on your skin, okay? All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.